Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my channel is all about worm composting and different ways that you can do it. I do experiments uh, with different kinds, different species of worms, as well as different ways that you can run a worm bin. So today what we're looking in on is my lasagna bin and it's been about 20 days since we've looked in on them and as you can see we had fed them some corn on the cob as well as some corn that was not cooked and then we gave them the leaves of the corn and uh, gave them some grit. So the whole idea behind this bin is that uh, it is done in layers. So in case you don't have a shredder or perhaps uh, you don't have one, you can do worm composting by just layering food and layering layers of cardboard and the worms and the bin critters, which you can see a little bin critter here, my little roly poly, and there are also mites and springtails in here and it's totally healthy to have them in there. It may creep you out, but it does benefit the bin. In an ecological sense, if this was an outside worm bin, they would be known as the shredders. And uh, your inside bin does benefit from having them, um, even if you feel creeped out. So what I do first when I look in on this bin is I'm going to evaluate how it's doing, evaluate the moisture, and if they need more food. Now it looks like they have eaten that last layer underneath of them. So they, it's, it's summertime and so the worms do tend to work on things pretty fast when it's you know 80 degrees in the basement Fahrenheit. Um, so that's, it doesn't look like we've got a layer to even look down in here. But there is about a pound of my Red Wiggler Blue Worm European Nightcrawler mix in here. And they really, really ramp it up and do a great job in the summer. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we're going to use our old layers here, probably get them a little bit wet with some water. Yep, I still have not bought a new sprayer. I try not to dump water in the bin, but today's feeding, I don't want it to be super dry. So I'm just going to wing it as I tend to do. Okay, so if you watched the video on the ENCs, you know that I have an abundance of this oatmeal and mix of with coconut shreds. So everybody's getting that this week. And I wanted to make sure that the worms, you know, had enough moisture or the, you know, bin critters or whoever had enough moisture to process this because this bin does tend to dry out faster because in between the layers is pretty airy. So they will come up from the bottom of the bin and start investigating this pretty soon. I think that I put enough grit in there the last couple of times that it should be enough for the worms. Now we haven't looked in on them in 20 days. This bin has been running for seven months now and it's been about three months since the worm apocalypse where it got flooded. So if you're interested in that, you can go and look at the playlist that I will link at the end. Now for the top of this, I have pre-wetted some of my Amazon boxes so that everything will be kind of sealed up against you know any sort of critters that might be flying by. So this is the, the top of the bin. And one of the things that I'm going to add to the top of the bin right now is um, this is from my worm tea, me making worm tea. The bags I use are super compostable. So I'm just going to kind of spread them out on top and they will be part of the layers, you know, going forward. Um, but these were cotton bags and uh, I put about a pound of worm castings in here and then I um, dunk them in a five gallon bucket. I do have a video that I can link at the end on how to make worm tea as well. But since they are compostable and vermicompostable, they're going to become a part of this system. So if you like this system, I have a playlist that you can go watch right over there. And if you want to watch a different kind of system that is a little bit more normal where you use shredded paper, I will link the DIY playlist right over here. And if it doesn't interest you at all, 
YouTube thinks that there is a video you will want to watch right there. Alright guys, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.